Welcome back. Alright, I finally actually decided to start and load up on my, uh, uh on my mix rap. So, today I know it's like. Things first. When does the ship go? Hello, Mr. DBS. Don't need none of this for an explorer. Oops, there's nothing right there. All right, now make an explorer, such as the DBX. Anytime that I buy a ship, I always get the best FST. an explorer build, I always do the degrade because degrade modules are the lightest modules in the game. So I always just outright degrade these, because yeah, it's not like there's other classes and stuff to choose from. My fuel tank, way too large for a little, <laughs> a little DBX, nope. to go with full speed. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Sorry. I was losing track of what I was doing. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just looking at the power differences. We'll give this a shot, and then we'll go from there, see if that works. And if it's too much, then I'll just drop it down to uh, the smaller grade. <coughs> then, of course, you gotta put the uh, FST booster on there, so that increases that range. Um, then, being an explorer, I always put planetary recall on that. A lot of extra power, but we're gonna see if we can make it work. All right. Oops. So I do have other detailed surface scanners that I have stored, but I'm just showing you the full process. 
some details there too. Because this is just going to be like a short rain. No, that's what I forgot. Uh, how small can you get? Damn it. Lame. Uh, oh, damn it. I have a power draw. Be all right with the six sixteen on the smaller ship. Tend to lose scoop fairly quickly, so, but like I said, if I'm over with my power out, I'm gonna try the the smaller grade in case that doesn't help at least a little bit now it's just lose Try this easy. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just bump it up to the four digits. Just lose. And that was super priority for me. D. Alrighty. So I wonder. Is there anything? I could always bump this up to the four D since I have enough power. I think I can live with that. Alright. Alright, so now that I've got all my modules fitted on here, all my core modules, they're all D grade except for my FSD. I do have the Guardian FSD booster on, which does increase my range significantly. So, without that on, I've got 38.43 light years, so almost 40 light years without engineering and with, you know. Alrighty, so, 
And here, you know, you could always just put some cargo racks. Just, just cause. If you, uh, decide to carry anything. And then, you could either put a cargo rack here, or, you know, something, something else that's not power hungry. Since you got a little bit extra, you know, extra power to play with before you're over your limit. So, so I'm just looking through this, seeing, seeing if there's anything even worth putting on here. I mean, the AFMU, you know, that's that's good for long range, but as a short range jumper, you know, it doesn't doesn't have to be you know it doesn't have to have that. So Alright. So now that that is out of the way. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. Go to this remote workshop. Pull up my FSD, and I'm probably not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to the grade five because I don't wanna use my one and only on a on just a halfway build. So I may I may uh, take it to grade four, but I won't complete it because I know it'll probably take a significant amount. See how, how close I can get it. You know what? Might as well just finish it out to the grade four since it's so close. Hopefully, just one more. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Now it just sucks that I don't have an experimental to be able to, you know, add on. But, you know, oh well. Eventually, I'll just go back over to Felicity and, you know, put that on. Um, but now, so just in doing the uh, grade four engineering without, you know, the uh, experimental as well, but having the FSD booster, I'm sitting at 63 light years. So, now we, let me see what, I can't remember what all I pinned for this stuff. Um, yay, lightweight. Now we're going to decrease the mass, give myself a little bit of extra jump range. Some conductive ceramics. I have to go grind. Come on. Oh, goody. It comes all the way up there, huh? It's like a big fucking growth. Oof. Please don't say. I'm not gonna go to grade five, so I'll just stay grade four. Finish it out since I know I have enough. There we go. Uh, what? Oh man, I, yeah, that's what it is. 
the engineer I have this pin from, I've only got him to grade four, so I have to go finish that out. So <clears throat> this right here, I'm trying to prevent bumps and bruises to my hole. So that's the point of, you know, the kinetic and the thermal. I'm for next to stars and stuff. And kinetic for touching down on planets. Ooh. Well, let's just take it to let's just take it one step on grade grade four. All right, shield gen. We'll stop at that. All right. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't have time to go for the experimental. And then with this, you know, we've got the expanded radius and all that. Which, you know, expanding the radius of these probes is, is vital, really. If you want to seriously, you know, do exploring, expanding the radius of your probes is, is something that you're going to want to do. Just gonna stop it for all right. So, yeah, I got a little bit extra, so it was sixty three, now it's sixty four. So, I mean, I know it's not a ton, but I don't have any experimentals. I've done, you know, grade four engineering to it. You know, I haven't, I haven't grade fived everything. And it's got pretty good jump range. So. Actually, nope. Since that is empty, we're going to just... Stay screw it and throw a cargo rack on it. Only affects your jump range when you have stuff in it. And now let's give her uh, an overhaul. Alright, welcome back. You're good, man. You're good. Just been uh, instructing instructing nobody on a, on a good build for an explorer. So I just... I just uh, bought this DBX, I stripped it down completely, and then I built it from the ground up, and um, put the Guardian FSD booster on there, um, and then I did a little bit of engineering, I did, I didn't do any grade 5 stuff, um, but I did like, I did everything at least up to grade 4, um, even if I didn't complete it, you know, but I did everything up to 4, um, 
But right now it's jumping uh, 64 light years. So. Yes. <laughs> nice. Nice. Hmm. I got you. Uh, let's go with the blue. I like the blue. Yeah, I, you know, obviously doing the remote workshop, I couldn't add any, uh, you know, experimentals, but that's all right. I am over it. Sir, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> like, I'm gonna mess up your whole stream, bruh. <sighs> now I feel bad because uh, she's all decked out and I can't think of a name. She'll be nameless for now. That's 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 all it comes down to. She'll just be nameless. I'm not bothered with the SRBs. Hey, welcome to the stream. Just um, just uh, doing doing this uh video here. Just showing um a real quick build. I just built there. I just bought this DBX not too long ago. Fitted it with D grade modules. You know, engineered some of it with my remote. Um, 
I've also got the Guardian FSD booster on here, you know, which gives me a little bit extra. So the engineering that ha that I do have done has given me 64 light years jump per inch. So and then I did uh, I did some engineering also to the the detailed surface scanner, and that increases its scanning radius. So, if there's anything that you'd like to know, just ask away, or if you're just here to watch, that's cool. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to continue on. Um, so, you know, having just done that, because I grind a lot, I grind for a lot of materials, so that's why I was able to do the amount of engineering that I was able to do. Um, but when you... You know, when you grind for all that stuff, you can get it to the those jump ranges and all that. Plus, that Guardian FSD booster helps a lot. Um, and this was just, I just built this in like the last 10, 20 minutes or something. I don't know. But, that being said, I am going to switch over to my actual exploration ship. Which, there she is. the delay to make it so, dr so dramatic. Yes, this is really necessary. Mr. NPC guy. All right, where are you? Oh, oh yeah, you flew out there, that's right. Okay, so now that I am in my actual exploration ship out of the DBX, that I just built. Now, you're gonna you're gonna kind of laugh at, at what you see when I go into outfitting, because, hey, <laughs> yeah, kind of. So, yes, I know, I know, I am overpower. I get that, but there's a reason, and and I have a simple solution to it. Which I do every time. Which doesn't bother me. Anyway. So I've got zero hard points on this thing. Nothing utilities. My core modules are very, 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 very small. And heavily engineered. So <laughs> in a class 8 slot. 3D power plant. Boom. 5D thrusters. Obviously I'm going to go the largest largest grade, uh, class and highest grade with the FSD and then D grade, D grade, and then that, you know, is going to be obviously D grade, but you need to adjust it with, you know, your power requirements. And then I use the, I don't use just a 16 ton because I have an extra four, wherever it is, here it is. Um, so it's a 20 ton tank and, uh, and then I have, you know, 240 units that I can move. I got the 7B fuel scoop, which scoops at uh, 1,068, I guess it's liters per second. Um, class 5 FSD booster, which gives me that 10.5 light year uh, boost. SRV bay, um, shield gen, AFMU, detailed surface scanner, that's grade 5, 100%, so it gives me the maximum radius. Uh, for my probes, which uh, <laughs> saves on, you know, having to fire too many and, you know, accidentally going over, you know, the efficiency. So, anyway. Um, but as you see, 80 light years that I can jump with this ship. So, whenever I decide that I want to Go exploring. This is pull up my galaxy map with all my ridiculous bookmarks and stuff. And yes, those are ship bookmarkers. Uh, but yeah, ship markers. Yes, I have a lot. Don't judge me. It's a project. Anyway, 
Back to it. So, that, because of my 80 light years, is just two jumps. That's 147 light years away. I've, I've memorized it. <laughs> but, uh, two jumps. Don't worry about the jet cone. Any time that I go exploring, my first stop is Jackson's Lighthouse. I don't use any extra nonsense modules like, you know, the auto crash as I call it because it likes to smash me into everything when I use it on my Type 9. I only use it on my Type 9 and it's just like, ha, ah, smash. I'm like, come on. I have a compilation on my YouTube channel, um, compilation video that I made of the docking computer crashing me. Anyway, so, and I don't use the, uh, the, as I call it, the stupid cruise assist because I, I don't, I'm attentive to the game. I don't get distracted very often. It does happen sometimes, and I'm like, no, I'll pass the station because I'm looking at my phone. I'm like, oh shit, did I pass my station? Oh man, I did. But, you know, hey. Now, the boosting on this is very, very, very slow to recharge. So, IG planets are out of the question for this ship. Especially like Akinar 3. Nope. Um, or that 10.4 out near Colonia. Or the... What, or, I'm sorry, it was 9.4 out near Colonia. It was like 10.4 out closer to Sage or some something like that. But nope, I'm good. Like, the most that I trust, you know, landing this ship onto is like a 1.2 to 3. Because I have weak shields and I have a weak ship. But it jumps really, really far. That's all I care. So I'll show you. I'll show you how weak this ship is. 161 shield health. 871 armor health. That's it. She's weak. But, it's like, um, try to catch me. <laughs> You're not going to do it. Like, if I choose to jump and get away from you, it's going to happen real fast. Alright, as soon as we drop, we will be coming into Jackson's Lighthouse, the neutron star that is closest to... <laughs> yeah, that's right. The star, uh, the neutron star that is closest to the bubble. Mm. And I have been here so many times, yet the explorer me always does the honk. I cannot get away from it. <laughs> I can't help my obsession, and you will not end it. Only people that want help with their addiction are the ones that, <laughs> that need that need that guidance. This is my addiction. Okay, so now that we have uh, jet cone, that jump range is 300. You're crazy, man. Um, but 323 light years. Well, 323.25 light years this is my jump range. Never pay attention to the unladen. That's a number that you'll never ever jump. Not unless you're low on fuel. And then... And both numbers change. Both values change. So, you know, you could jump 327 light years. But your unladen is going to say something higher than that. So, I don't even understand why that's in the game. It gives people a, a confused sense of, of long range jump. It's like, well, I mean, 323 is still long. But that's all I'm going to get. I'm not going to get 327. People are crazy. Anyway. Back to it. So sometimes I'll just slow down just so I can look around. See what I want to jump to. Whenever I plot for long range, I literally zoom all the way out. Just to pick somewhere. But since I'm not trying to go too crazy far. I'll just... um. 
just go out here or something. We'll just uh, find. We'll just go to that A class. Why not? 700 some odd light years. How many jumps? 10 jumps for 700 light years. So instead of bothering with full on scanning, I'm just going to show a honk for the systems. I'm just going to do real quick um, speed jumps just till we get to the system. And then we'll go from there. Uh, I'm, I'm just showing how, how I feel screwed with the tonnage and the speed. I guess I could have like explained a little bit better how you do a neutron if you don't know how to do it. Um, what I do with neutrons, like neutrons and white dwarves are completely different, so I approach them way, 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 way different. Um, anyway, uh, with the neutrons, um, I always just just aim up with the uh, like the middle section of the of the jet in between, you know, the star itself and the end of the jet. I just line up right at that middle point, and then just aim out from it and just hit it the way I did, and just kind of let the thing take me. And as I hear it starting to starting to fill out, or, uh, you know, uh, supercharge it, sorry, um, now I just throttle up and let, you know, let gravity do its thing with me, so, sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh man, it didn't give me. The... <sighs> I know what I did wrong. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so... Wow. I'm a noob. What do I do? Anyway. Um, yeah, so... Dummy me... Um, who doesn't use... Within the bubble, the jet cone boost... Forgot to set it. And so I did not look at my jump range. <sighs> Alright, that's irritating as hell. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go back to Jackson's. Because we're gonna do that right. That pisses me off. 159 light years? I can do that. That'll be easy. Watch this. I don't know where I was going with that. Premium. FSD injection. Now, if you do a ton of grinding and gather a bunch of freaking materials, then you'll be able to do the uh, FSD injections, both you know all the you know the basic, the the middle one, the intermediate, or whatever the hell it's called, and then the premium, standard. That's what it's called. Anyway, so now I did that. I look at this, 161 light years, so literally one jump. Yeah, it does use materials and it does, you know, do a little bit of damage to your FSD, but oh well. I wondered why it was 10 jumps. It's like, that doesn't seem right. It's like, hold up. And then I jumped, and then I was like, wait, hell no. <laughs> I was like, ah, damn it. Yeah. But it's alright. No worries. Just hit her again. So, taking her, you know, a little bit slow time just so I can show how I do it, like, more accurately. 
and then I just speed up. When you hear that, doo -doo 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 -doo, that's when you throttle up. But just don't try to turn out of it until it says frameshift drive supercharged. Because then you'll have to just turn around and go back through it. Then that's that's just just irritating. All right, let's replot the damn dumb route. Oh, look at that. Got, um, I don't even know if that's a neutron or whatever. Let's go. Yay, I unnoobed myself. Look, 321 light years. Cannot comply. What? Oh. Oops. I guess I could pay attention to that, huh? Nope. Oh. What was it? Where is it? Uh, what? I thought one of these was. What are you? Frame shift no. drive charging. Oh. Okay. That's irritating. That's really, 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 really irritating. So frustrated to get back that I just like, Durr. so. We're going to be making another trip into Jackson's Lighthouse just as soon as I get a little bit of fuel. Because <laughs> that was dumb. <clears throat> and I apologize for that. Drive charging. But <clears throat> what I like is that eight light years that I'm about to jump. I, I can't see really any, any uh, color difference in my, <laughs> my fuel usage. Yes, yes, yes. But at least I'm eight light years away, so I can get, you know, and get a full jet cone and not have to worry. System scan complete. Fuel scooping. Now, the reason why I activated my FSD while I was still near the star is because as long as you're moving away and the star is not red anymore, you can activate your FSD without having to worry about it saying, warning, taking heat damage or anything like that. You activate it with the red, you're going to go up to 80%, guaranteed every time. Well, with an Explorer build. The combat ship, you know, might be a little bit better off and not have to worry so much about heating up as quickly. But you will still take heat if you activate FSD near the red zone of a star. You will take heat. Do not mean to go right into the center of it, but hey, whatever. Now to replot again. It's irritating. Let's just, uh, let's find, find another, like, A-class or something, whatever this is. Yep, A-class. Uh, sure, why not? Who cares? Alright. <laughs> now that I have jet cones on, For real, for real, this time, we are doing it. <laughs> Frame shift drive charging. That light is so bright. Though, I will say, I do not like the light that comes off of white dwarves. Their stupid little beam of light that goes across your freaking uh, <laughs> screen is just... It's so... Right, like I cannot, I cannot look at it. I have to turn my ship to where I've got it, like in its, in its, you know, like shade zone, where I can't see it coming into the, into the bridge at all. 
I always want to say cockpit because you know, like real life aircraft call them, call them cockpits and stuff like that. But with a large ass ship like this, this is a bridge. This is not a. This is not a little totally cockpit. Yes, thank you. Nobody cares. Frame shift drive charging. I'm getting sidetracked. <coughs> These are not my speed jumps. <laughs> I apologize. Four, three, two, one, so yeah, when I want to land on a planet, I just turn that off, turn that on. And when I'm ready to take off, I just do the reverse. Then with my AFMU, I just turn the fuel scoop off and then turn my AFMU on. That was, uh, that was, that's what I do because of my power requirements. <clears throat> it makes it so I can still have that stuff on my ship. I can still use it, but, you know, with it off, you know, I don't have to be bothered, you know, about having, like, a, a 40 power plant because that would reduce my jump range. Frame shift drive charge. Yeah, I'm getting distract distracted again. Alright, this time I'm uh, I'm gonna focus, so I'm gonna do an actual speed jump. Although I did not look to see if it's a scoopable star, so hopefully it is, and I will be able to scoop. So, for me, I found the most efficient way to position your ship is where the star is positioned, just like that, because it makes it so that you can use both your thumbsticks to pivot and be able to go around the star, and then you're ready to go again. Whereas, you know, a lot of pilots, they'll either put the bottom of their ship to the star or the top of their ship to the star, and then they'll try to, like, figure out where it is with that orbital line or whatever. I don't use orbital lines, I just watch the speed of how fast I'm scooping and adjust my distance to the star accordingly. So, I do it from this side, I do it, you know, it doesn't matter what side of the star I come out on. I still always position it in the same direction, and then I just, you know, inch in towards the star to get that scoop going faster, and then I just move away. Um, I try to move away before I hit, you know, full. Um, but, you know, it's, it's not always an exact science. You have to really, really, really be focused to be getting it that precise. Because I've done it before to where... I start into a star, I start scooping it, and then out on my exiting of the scoop range, I finish my scoop and I'm already activating my FSD. And I've got a pretty, pretty good amount of jumps, so I've had a decent amount of practice. To kind of perfect my technique. That's how I jump. Right. Fuel scooping complete. And then I'm ready to jump. Drive charging. You see, I never went above 80. I only smoked a little bit, and nearly to jump to jumping. That's when I actually pay attention. <laughs> I'm curious if we're about to be there. I'm not sure. Yep, we're there. I didn't look to see how many jumps there was. I apologize. It was probably like five, six, or something. I don't know. Oh, 
Alrighty. Now that we are here, I hope... Okay, cool. I have not been here. I did not look at that when, uh, when I selected I just chose something. That's how I always pick my routes. Because I don't... I don't pick anywhere specific. I don't look to see where other people have been just so I can go see it. Unless, unless somebody's like, hey, this place is really, really, really cool. You know, go check it out. And I'm like, okay, what's there? And if they say black holes, then I'm like, okay, I'm there. Same, same as the case for this one place. Um, which I'll show you the uh, system map for it, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to fly there right now because it's like, um, I mean, it's, what, 15,000 15, light years away or something? I mean, it's not super far, but, you know, I don't feel like extending the stream out, you know, that long just to go to one freaking system. Now, if I was, you know, actually doing exploration, um, so I know, I'm sorry. So I know I was, like, very, very quickly zooming in and zooming out, but literally when you use your FSS, you don't have to sit here let it do its scan thing and all that stuff because as long as you're watching that percentage meter down there in the left hand corner as long as that percentage keeps going up zoom in zoom out just like that zoom in zoom out you don't even have to look at the planet i've done it so many times hold up just so you know that i am not bullshitting you guys so those are my exploration stats as of right now. 2.2 billion in profits from exploration. 92,000 uh, level 3 detailed scans. 1.1 million light years total hyperspace distance. Over 20,000 jumps. You know, a lot of SRV time and a lot of time put in. That's why I say I feel like I'm a, you know, you know, pretty, pretty good person to say I, you know, have a good, good knowledge of the game. And there's my neighbor with his last truck. Thank you, bro. Come on, system map. Oh yeah, and I, I did say I was gonna show you that, that other, that other place. And you're gonna take forever. Really? Don't do this. And it has frozen on me, so now I'm going to have to go to the main menu and reload back in because it wants to be a douchebag. Yes, yes, come on. Starting system map, nobody cares. Come on. Okay, whatever. And yes, in my Explorer, I will never, never, never do it in open. Because there are no weapons on it. And I'm not trying to get griefed. I don't think so. Not with as weak as this ship is. Alright, so let's just open the system, or the, the galaxy map real quick. Alright, let's... This other place that I'm talking about is nope, it's over here. Right there. Hopefully it does not lag out like it just freaking did. Because that was irritating. Alright. So, yay, it didn't lag out. One two black holes. A ringed brown dwarf. A ringed M-class, a ringed white dwarf, and a ringed neutron star. This place is awesome to see. It is just amazing. Like, the ring systems on these, I'm not even going to, like, you need to see it for yourself. If you, if you have elite and you, you know, have a decent jump range, go out there. See this place. It's really cool. I'll even leave uh leave this the system map up for a second so you can like kinda you know 
write that down or try to mem- remember it or, you know, take a picture with your phone or something. <laughs> something. Something to remember. It's really cool. In my opinion. But yeah, I couldn't, uh, I tried to, I tried to map because there's two sections to the star, or to the, to the star's rings, right? I literally could only map the one ring. I think maybe I wasn't aiming, like, at the right position for it to be able to, you know, loop as hard as it needed to. But they, they, look, fired the probes into the direction of this outer ring, right? They were flying for a while. And I decided, you know what? They are not reaching this thing. Let me see what's going on. So I literally caught up to them on their way, and then they just died off. So so the ring is enormous. Like, just absolutely enormous. But it is definitely a sight to see. It was really cool. Okay, so instead of trying to open the system map from my, from my, uh, <coughs> my bridge... I'm going to open it from here. Yay, it worked. So, one time. The point four seven. Okay, let's see. How close are you? You're pretty close. I'll just go to you and I'll... Depending on your proximity to each other, I'll probably map both of you. Okay, so we are going to go over to some small planets. not both, like I said, according to their proximity. So, I'm going to show you how I map things, as opposed to a lot of other people that don't know how to probe, you know, <laughs> fire them things out, holy fuck. They're like insane with them, they're like, doo, 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 doo. I gotta fire all of them. I gotta run out, let him recharge, and then fire all again. Un until until I'm blue in the face. But they all have to be in the same spot. That's why I had to fire them all in the same spot. Like, man, y'all people crazy. It does not require that many damn probes. I promise you that, and I'm gonna show you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, just uh, showing, showing uh, the ropes on exploration. Uh, you missed the first part of the stream. I, I bought a DBX, built it for exploration, um, fitted it with you know, a detailed surface scanner, SOV, things like that. Um, kept it really basic and then did a little bit of engineering, put, the, uh, uh, put a Guardian FSD booster onto it, and... Um, Right now it's sitting at 64 light years that it can jump. So, and that's that's with, you know, nothing over grade four engineering done to the, you know, few modules that I actually did it to. But I finished that up and uh, I decided to show how I do exploration in my large ship. So with a, uh, with a six probe planet, right, I pay attention to how much percentage gets done with each probe and then I just fire out accordingly. Now, I know I did fire that before, you know, that was done. But I've got, you know, those probes firing out and I didn't even need that one, but I just like to send it out late just in case I do. So, now, most of the time you'll never see me staring at the thing. Like I fire my probes, I'll show you how I really do it. <laughs> Not trying to 
Not trying to haul ass past this next planet. The whole point is to go to this other planet. But it needs to speed up just a little bit. And that's too much. Slow down, bastard. Oh, and for me, I've learned that in this large ass ship, whenever I start increasing my speed too much, I just throttle all the way down and then I just, you know, push forward on my, on my throttle, or on my, on my stick to, uh, you know, just, I hate using the, <laughs> the phrase down and stuff, but I, I, you know, tilt my ship downward in a downward motion. So anyway. So it's saying seven probes, which means I'm, you know, I can fire out these uh, five and be fine. But I always look for the miss mark, and then I line also up like with the uh, horizon mark. That's what that means. So I miss it up in between those two marks, and then I fire um, so that to get to the uh, direct uh, direct center or as close to the direct center as I can. And I fire one there. There and then there, and then I don't bother with it again. There's no gas giants here, so I'll just let you watch. Efficiency bonus. Yeah, I'm still here. Now I'm gonna sound crazy because I. No, you're good. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what happened to you. I was like, well, he's still in the party, but he's he's AFK, so all right, whatever. No worries. Okay, so. Ah, right, you're good, man. You are good. Okay, so. All right. Okay. Yeah. It's all good. No worries, man. It's all right. No worries, man. <laughs> Whoops. It's like, are you falling asleep? Yeah, like, yeah, sorry. Like, get over it. I'm sorry. All right, man, you too. Have a good one, brother. Later. All right. So, this this uh, place has three black holes in it and a bunch of stars. Like, that's a bunch of stars. Those are stars. Those are, you know, those are all stars. Stars, stars, stars. It's like 15 stars or something. Something like that. Um... Pretty interesting. I don't know. If I don't know if I've made this. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna just jump back this direction. You know, screw it. I'll just uh, lock back onto Jameson, and hopefully I'll run into something that um, you know, has a a good sized gas giant in it. Uh, eight jumps. Mm, I didn't even look to see how far we were. That's right. Oh, um, so I am forgetting a few things. So, um, when you map a body, you know, you're gonna get extra credits, you know, when you turn in that nav data, you know, on top of, you know, if you used your FSS and all that. Um, you know, all that stuff adds up and gets you paid more as opposed to, you know, just doing the, the jump and honk. You know, yeah, that does get you paid a little bit, but not as much as when you actually use your FSS or go as far as mapping. Now, the largest system that I've mapped, and I'm going to show that to you here in a second. Um, 
Well, no, no, no. I don't want to spoil the surprise. It's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of ridiculous that I mapped this spot. Hey, there's this uh, system. Hello, brown dwarf. System scan complete. Oh, okay. Yes, thank you, police car. Okay. Going too fast, I'm so sorry. All right. Come on. Don't mess up again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There are 82 bodies in this system. And if you look at every single one every single one come on every, every single one <laughs> just cooperate it has first discovered and first mapped by I literally mapped every freaking thing that I could now unfortunately you can't map the stars but guess what you can map the rings so I ring, uh, mapped all those rings and I mapped every single freaking body in this place it was ridiculous. It took a really long time. Well, not a really long time. But it took a considerable amount of time to map everything in this freaking system. Especially considering there's, you know, so few stars in comparison to all the damn bodies. Anyway, yeah, 82. Ridiculous. Uh, yeah, fuel star. Now, thankfully, with uh, with my fuel scoop, um, I'm able to, you know, even if I'm low like I'm about to be, um, I can slow down just a little bit and be able to, you know, scoop and fill up pretty quickly, even being so low. As long as I, as long as I get in close to the star, like. You know, pretty soon on into the fuel scoop. I could just kind of hug so I see that distance and then I slow down just enough and just kind of hover around the same distance. I, I usually try to not like get it, you know, to the, to the top unless I'm just doing my like real quick thing. And then I'm good to go. Frame shift drive charging. Exploration is the thing that I really, really enjoy the most. It's definitely my passion in this game. Um, as far as my credits, it's not the way I make the, the majority of my credits. The majority of my credits I make through cargo. I, I can't stand mining. I do have a, a ship that I built for mining, but I fucking hate it. I built it because... I bought the game for my son, he wanted to try out mine, he wanted me to help, so I was like, alright, well, me being me, and having enough credits, I don't, I wasn't gonna be a cheapskate, and like, build a ghetto-ass fucking mining ship, so, I built a Type 9, turned it into a miner, so I have two Type 9s, I have, uh, five, five anacondas? I believe it's only five. I don't think I bought any more. Anyway, I know I have five anacondas. I've got a cutter. I've got, um, I've got a lot of other ships.
Now, if you happen to see the uh, the ship markers when uh, when I was in the galaxy map, then you might have a an idea that I have a ridiculous amount of ships, but I. There's a reason why I have a, a ridiculous amount of ships. I'm working on a project, but a project is it's just more like a squadron thing. It's just, in order to do it, I had to buy a bunch of sidewinders. So I'm not even going to tell you how many it is. I'm going to let you read. <laughs> Number of ships owned. 132. I did read it, but I gave you a moment to read it for yourself. So, I know it's a ridiculous amount, but it's, it's all for the project. It's all for the project. I'll probably have to buy another 40. Because what I did was I went to Diagondry and, um, and I bought 40. And with each one, uh, after I'd buy it, I'd go into outfitting, uh, sell the weapons, and then I would go into optionals, sell all the internal, uh, sell all the optionals, um, except for the, uh, planetary uh, approach suite I sold everything but that and then uh, and then I buy the next one this store you know storm hello extra star Okay, so apparently I'm back in human space. It happens really, really quickly with this ship. I'll get, I'll get to places and be like, wait, am I there already? Like, I know I'm not back to Jameson, but I've got like two jumps or something, three jumps. Frame shift drive charging. But I think I might be like on the outskirts of the bubble just outside of it at three jumps or, or no 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 I guess I guess it could be just right at the edge I call it the outer rim <laughs> of the bubble Sixty-eight is what it can jump to, but Fuel scoop disengaged. I don't, need, I don't need it to be full. This must be full for me to feel comfortable, you know. And if I needed to do a second jump, but if it's like significantly low, nope. I'll, uh, I will slow down and I will, I will pivot enough to be able to top it off and. And continue on my on my way. Fuel scooping. Fuel scooping complete. See, that's what happens when I scoop, scoop it and I don't, like, turn away. Like, I'm still near it, you know, when it completes. And I don't like being near it when it completes because it just makes me, you know, more susceptible to taking heat damage. Now, this thing doesn't have, you know, awful thermal management, but it's okay thermal management. So it is, it is going to be prone to heating up. Due to the engineering, which you know makes it so that I have the jump range, and yeah, oh well, if I don't have the the, the heat management and stuff like that, you know, to you know this phenomenal amount, but I'm not worried about that when I have the jump range that I do. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, with that with that kind of light range, you know, you you lose, you you miss out on a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't because when I go out, I go out for long trips. That's what other people call. It. I don't really call it long trips. I just 
I say I was out for this many days. I don't really pay attention to how far I've gone, but my last quote unquote long trip was around 68,000 light years. And I, I stayed within within the area of uh, um, in Orion's crest, er, in Orion's first, sorry, Kepler's crest, Jabalba, which is, you know, like right next to it or whatever. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying the, the name correctly, but with the spelling, that's how it looks to me, Jabalba. Anyway, there's that, you know, uh, hell. One of the places I was at, um, out in Jabalba, it was when I when I locked on to Jameson, Jameson was 25,000 light years away. I was like, wow. I didn't realize I could, you know, basically travel to the Sagittarius A going to the outer edge. Now, I, I didn't go as far as I could have, theoretically. Um, but I didn't want to risk not being able to get back. But yeah, hell, um, if you have a detailed surface scanner on any of your ships, um, <laughs> I'll show you once I land, um, you know, with my universal cartographics thing, um, uh, I'll show you the payout for some of the, some of the planets that I've mapped here in the bubble. Like, most of these planets were, uh, were either near just stations of course, some of them were the actual um, planets that engineers are located on that I hadn't previously mapped before. Most of the engineers' planets that I've mapped have geological sites. So if you needed to do some material grinding, you absolutely could. when I gotta slow down it's the only way that I can because it I know there's no it, it's space and it makes no sense but when you turn the complete opposite direction of the way that you were previously moving and you cut at all throttle it'll stop you almost instantly I'm not paying attention um, but it'll it'll stop you almost instantly and so the reason why I do those rolls because it gets me to that point I have all my speed cut out but as I roll it it'll uh, it'll sometimes change the change the direction so if I've got too much speed I'll I'll usually do like two rolls and that stops me like right away I know it sounds crazy but I've you know, tested this many 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 times many times. Docking successful. Commence power down. Greetings, Commander. Well, uh, <laughs> in August alone, um, I was looking to see, uh, like, what my, like, most visited places were um, in different periods of time. Well, in, in August alone, my, my system that I use for cargo runs... I've been there 196 times, so quite a few times that I jumped in and out of that place. Oh, well, jumped to that place. But um, oh yeah, sorry, distracting myself. All right, so um, yeah, the, so this was one of the places that I mapped two bodies, and as you can see. It's a hell of a good payout for both bodies. I mean, yeah, the second one is way better, but, you know, still. Um, where is the other one? There was another one. Where did you go? Uh, 
Uh, did I sell it already? I think I may have sold it. I had one on here that was for two million, but I, yep, I did, I did. That's right, because there was a station that I landed at that I was trying to um get a uh, get my reputation up with them. So I always just sell them nav data, you know, just enough nav data to to bump it to at least cordial. But um, if I have a lot, like like if I have multiple pages, I'll just hold on to that, jump around to different systems, and I'll turn in a full page. And, uh, and usually that gets me, you know, at least friendly with them, if not allied. Because uh, when I explore, like, I explore, like, hardcore. I'm using the FSS on everything and mapping certain bodies. I don't map everything. That 82 body system, that was an exception because it was 82 freaking bodies. And it was undiscovered. I was like, hell yeah, my name is going all over that thing. So, yep, my name is on the entire system. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, it's it's a little victory or whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so proud of it, but that, that's a lot of time to map, you know. Especially those, uh, the, the ringed, um, stars. Like, those things you have to be careful about, because you have to get within proximity, you know, of the star to be able to hit the, the ring at all. For it to say, you know, you know, too fast, as opposed to out of range. But once you, you know, once you hit that, you know, point where it says too fast, obviously you're going to want to come to a stop and then just aim away at, at those rings. But. So I'm going to sell this because why not? So I don't now if I. If I landed on a planet, um, there's, uh, like, the geological sites that you can land on, um, they are going to have, uh, like, the, the, whatever is there, the material that's there, um, and the formation that's there, you're going to be able to scan that, and if you haven't scanned it before, like, the same kind of, you know, material or whatever in that, in in that sector of space um you'll get a discovery you know for that and and that'll be a discovery like bonus that'll show up in your transactions tab over here um and it'll you know like usually it's going to be a fifty thousand credit payout for each discovery um some are lower some are like 2500 for a discovery but the, i i forget what those are um but yeah, most of the time it is going to be 50,000. I have found ones that that are worth more than that. Um but those I can't remember off the top of my head either what they were. Uh it's been a while. Um But yeah, I mean, like, you know, you get used to mapping all the all the different bodies and stuff like that. Like well, that's what I forgot to do. <laughs> I forgot to go to a gas giant. Um, I can still go to a gas giant. Uh, I think there might be one. Uh, oh man, I went to, wow, that was dumb. I went to go to the, 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 the galaxy map. Well, I guess I could go to this, this one right here. Why not? Let's go there. I'll show you how to map a large, large body with a ring. Now, unfortunately, I see too many minor only people that do some noob ass shit, and I will call it noob ass shit because it, it's some it's some noob ass shit. They fucking map the ring and don't map the planet. Like that's some noob ass shit, and you're wasting your time. Like you're gonna get paid for the body as well. You know, just because just cause you're like, oh, yeah, oh, I found the hotspots. Doesn't mean you're going to get paid for the planet. I mean, hell, this fucker right here paid me like 258,000 credits. I mapped this bitch. And, and as you saw, that one planet was paying me over a million credits for mapping it. One planet. 
Yeah, people are like, oh, fuck that. I'm just going to map the ring because I only do mining. And mining is the only thing. It's like, no. Like, yeah, you can make a lot of credits doing mining, but this game is more than just mining your, your life away. Frameshift drive charging. It's funny. A little bit of uh, exploration data that I've turned in has um, has moved us, you know, higher higher up the board by uh, three ranks. It's like, damn. I didn't realize that I was either one turning in that much nav data, or two other people weren't fucking doing anything. Uh, this is taking forever. Yet yeah, I did slow down like an idiot. Starting to get close, fish. It's better than if I was flying out to freaking Hutton. I my anaconda. <laughs> like, no, I can't fly in there. Ooh, shit. I was not paying attention. So down. A lot of people are like, oh, it takes you so long to get anywhere. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It takes me the right amount of time. Because I'm not going too fast. Because like when I'm doing it like this, I've got it just to where the speed bar just turns blue. Right? I aim at my target. And then I just hold course. I don't have to fucking haul ass to try and get there faster. Like, it's not a race. Only if I'm racing will I bust out one of my racers. Otherwise, I'm just going to take my sweet fucking time. Alrighty. So. Please say I have not mapped this. Fuck! I have mapped it. Okay. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to hit it anyway. Just so you can see what I do. Yeah, it's not going to be 100%, you know, accurate show of how I map. But hey, whatever. So, oh, I'm out of range. Fucking pay attention to that idiot. Alright, so this is how I do any gas giant. Now, when I'm going on long trips and things like that, um, I don't scan anything that's a class 3 or below. I will only scan class 4 and class 5 gas giants. So I fire my probe. I don't know if this is like too too uh too layer uh ring, I don't think it is, but anyway. Um so after I fire my one or two probes to map the ring. I'll take my ship. And I line her up to where this ring basically invisible and like that I come to a stop pivot and I don't like firing across like that so 
what I'll do is I'll just roll my camera around like this. As you roll the camera, it pivots it and pivots the how the view is. So then I do because this would be yeah it says 22 Pro. So one, two, three. Then I go seven, eight, nine, ten. I go to the back side. Seven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Come on, fourteen. Now, if you watch the progression of where these probes are hitting. That'll give me full coverage. I know it's like hard to tell where they're all hitting. Um, but um, you get the gist of where they are going. It's going to give me full coverage. It's going to give me that 100% completion. Plus, I just counted them out. That's way less than what it's asking for. So if you do it very, very similar to that or do that exactly, I mean, you will never fail. I promise you that. Never fail. So, there we go. I've probably mapped most of the things in this system, I just don't know because I've mapped so many, so many bodies. I mean, I've mapped so many bodies, it's ridiculous. It's over a thousand bodies. It's probably around 2,000. I don't know. Like, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but think about mapping and think about a thousand of them. 1,847. That's how many bodies I've mapped. So, just a little bit. But with those maps, you know, with, with those bodies that are mapped, you know, that's given me a lot of, a lot of practice, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of time to perfect how I map things. But it will pay you significantly more. If you if you map, you know, I mean, it'll pay you it'll pay you a lot if you map everything. But if you're not trying to go for you know the most mind-numbing thing ever, then map the bodies that count. You know, the ones that count for me are Earth-like worlds, water worlds, ammonia worlds, gas giants, class four and class five gas giants, um, and then uh, and then the helium. Uh, helium giants. I don't worry about the metal rich. They don't ever really pay me all that much in comparison to the other stuff that I just listed. Um, systems that have, you know, multiple earth likes and, you know, and maybe a, a one or two earth, uh, one or two water worlds. One or two water worlds, you know, you know, those are going to pay a lot of credits. What did I do? I didn't do shit. I'm very trying to. I don't even know where the hell that came from. Like, I'm just sitting here minding my own business, just flying on towards the station. Not really paying attention to how far I was, but which I should have been. But let's see what he said. I have you now. Um, what? Okay, that's that's all you're gonna say. I have you now. Yeah, you really weren't gonna interdict me, bro. <laughs> Stupid NPC.
Now, um, as it goes with like, uh, you know, surface mining and things like that, if you shoot the the little um, little rock things that explode on the ground, if you shoot those, um, instead of like, I see a lot of people they'll they'll like they'll joust with the materials. They'll like they'll drive over it real fast and then they'll turn around and then they'll drive over it real fast so what I have found that works for me that saves me a bunch of time is um I will just go straight forward and then straight back lock on straight forward straight back lock on straight forward straight back just like that like that's how I do it unless it's unless it's like ridiculously off to the side yeah oh well unless it's ridiculously off to the side then um, I'm just gonna go straight forward and straight back. Hey, I mean, you know, you know how to you know how to do exploration clown. So what's up, man? What you been up to? Getting anything, getting into anything fun, or just it's been relaxing or whatever. Shut up. I'll slow down when I feel like it, damn it. And you make me go, go fast. So, get over it. Now I'll slow down. Continue to slow off the path. <laughs> There's only a small cat. Whoops. <laughs> and there. Hey clown, have I shown you my viper? Ship is on the ground. Perform landing checklist. You wanna see it? Um, I mean, I gave you the choice. Just took a moment to, to respond, so now I made the choice for you. I'm not even gonna build up to it. I'm just gonna get to it. Come on. Let's do this, little guy. This thing is... Look, I don't have issues because I've been flying my Anaconda for a while now. So this little tiny baby ship is going to be a little, a little much. Oh my god, stupid ass fire truck. Go fast already. Boost time. Yeah. <laughs> Clear of the station. We hope to see you again, Commander. Yeah, since you really didn't get to see that. I challenge you to be able to approach the station.
<laughs> yep, there it is. You are correct. I can tell that. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit. Ah, that was really cool. Ah. <laughs> Terrifying. That's my, that's my whole paper. <laughs> oh, shit. Take a dude. Take a <gasps> it's so much faster. Oh my god, so. It's so much faster than my anaconda. It's so small. It's a little tiny ship. It's so hard to control because it's so tiny. So damn tiny. Ah. Easy. Oh my god, easy killer. Confirmed contact. Engaging docking restraints. Station services are at your disposal. Hmm? You didn't do anything. You said you're gonna grab a pen. I assume you wanna see what uh, ridiculous modules I have on my ship. So, PV power plant, they enhance performance thrusters, which I got that from old girl, um, Felicity. Um, <laughs> and is that you know, all this stuff is, you know as small as small as possible you know and engineered for lightweight oh my god that's not lightweight oh no I have to I have to put lightweight down. um anyway yeah there's there's like this ship is I have this for little bumps but those little bumps <laughs> at 851 meters per second are massive, just you know, ship destroying, you know, like events, like a little tiny bump <laughs> explosion. Um, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if you know this clown, but I I did buy an the king of what? Oh. <laughs> Three, four. Five. Hold on. Count again. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I have five freaking anacondas and a cutter. I don't know what to do with this one, so it's just sitting there collecting dust. I had it with, uh, I, I had a purpose, I, it fulfilled its purpose, and now it's just sitting there not doing anything so now I have to figure out a use for it I don't like selling my ships oh I don't know if you uh I know right like uh, so many hold on number of ships owned let's see it number of ships owned you see that it's ridiculous I'm ridiculous <laughs> yes 
132. It's because of my project that I got going, man. Working on a project. So I, I have a large number of sidewinders. A very, 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 very large number. Over 80 sidewinders. <laughs> would you would you just rather see the galaxy map and see how <laughs> see how ridiculous that thing looks right now? Red markers everywhere. I know it's ridiculous. I know. I am aware of this. <laughs> A virtual vagina. That's hilarious. Virtual vagina. Uh, okay. Um, oh, I got, oh, do you see the name of my uh, little viper? Ain't getting griefed. Because, like, yeah, if you can catch me, then by all means, you can destroy me. But, um, yeah, you're not going to catch me. Like, even if you interdict me, I'm just going to hit boost and go, bye-bye, and you'll never see me again. Like I'll fucking I'll fucking uh standard space all all the way to where I need to go, damn it. Come on. But yeah, like <laughs> this is my uh my storage chips. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back up. Uh, it's ridiculous. Um. Oh, okay. Still miscalculated on that one. This one I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with. Like right now, I've just. Stripped it down, and it's it's sitting pretty pretty weak. I mean, I've barely done anything to it. You know, has okay jump range, but I'll just get it out because I like the paint jobs that I put on it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use it for passenger or if I'm gonna use it for cargo. I don't know. I've been thinking about buying. Uh, another type 9 um, to have like near Jameson so that if there's any like cargo missions that I have to do either for an engineer or, or not an engineer but a superpower or you know if I'm you know trying to trying to help somebody you know with their stuff and they can't go very far then then I could have another type 9 in this area where, uh, where I'd be able to help instead of having to wait 40 some odd freaking minutes for my damn type 9 to come from Cubio. I don't even know where that is. Oh shit. That's my cutter. I was like, I'm not gonna just buy a stock cutter and have it, you know, boring and shit. So I bought the, uh, oh, near leasty. Okay. DD. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I wasn't gonna be like, oh, look at my boring ass cutter. Like, I wanted to fucking do something unique to it. So, you know, I had the, I had the arcs. So I just was like, fuck it. I'll buy the ship kit and buy this little paint job and call it good. So, yay. But man, I didn't realize 
like just how much the cutter freaking drifts. It drifts so much, it's ridiculous. Like when, when okay, so when I stop with my anacondas and I do my little rollover thing when I'm trying to come into a, a starport, you know, I stop. I tried that shit in the cutter. The cutter's like, nope, I'm just going to keep listing away. And I'm like, what are you doing? Stop moving. It's like, nah, bro. Nah. So. <laughs> oh, and I changed the um, max level. Oh, yeah. Guess you're going to have to find a new max level. Um, I didn't get to... I don't know if you've... Have you seen... Then I changed the uh, paint job and body kit on my uh, my PVE condo. I don't know if you've seen that. Clip. Yeah, uh, if it would just load, come on. Finally, I was like I'm just gonna think about it for a while. I'm not actually gonna do anything for you. Come on. Let's go. I may have the option. Thank you. Sorry. Oh shit. I'll just wait until it's out because it's gonna, it's gonna go all dark anyway. Oh, it didn't go dark. Apparently I can be in the same plane as the ship. And, yep, it still went dark. So that's my new paint job and new body kit. Did the corroded paint job and I put the little radar stuff on it. I like it. I think it's I think it's cool. It goes well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then uh Oh, so um as for exploration ships, right? So I just fitted that one DBX right there. Mr. Nameless. You know, it's got... I know what it's saying, the latent. It's, no, it's actually 64 light years that it can jump. And then here's my Explorer BBX. This is a project showing at the... Show, this, I built this at the start of the stream today. And then this is my one that I've had for a really, really, really long time. And it jumps 72 light years. So... And then there's my aspects, which it doesn't, it jumps like 68 light years. I know it says laden, but I know it says 70, it's 68. Trust me. Um, um, oh, yeah, I did buy a challenger. For, oh, and I did for the for this combat, is a apparently. Please proceed to the <laughs> I built it like I did my anaconda. So there's, there's shit that I fucking build sometimes and I forget that I do it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I have that shit. Like this one, I keep meaning to finish out, you know, re, re outfitting and engineering it back to being a combat ship, and I just I keep forgetting to do the rest of it. Like I refitted it like completely. For cargo runs, like an idiot. I should have just bought a second Python. But cheap ass me was like, oh no, I'm just gonna just refit this one. Fuck it. That was the dumbest, dumbest thing I ever did. Because in order to build a Python, like like this Python, back into a combat ship, I'm, I'm really just gonna have to like store all the shit that's on there. Figure out what is... Grade five, hundred percent. You know that I have stored that I could just throw onto the ship. 
Because I have enough, I have enough modules that are engineered that I could piece together multiple ships. It would look like some Frankenstein shit, but uh, it would work. Like I would, I would not have issues with power and would not have have issues with heat because of most of those modules are engineered for things like that. I don't know why I backed out. Um, but yeah, my uh, my DBX, you know, I went, I went to a lot of places with this thing. Like, hell, I went through Colonia and Sag A, um, on one of my trips there, um. My my full on like loop that I did, but I I did it from the bubble to Sag over to Colonia and then back. Um, when I did that trip, I did that in my aspects, and I made three hundred two million from profits from the exploration, and that gave me my first elite rank, and so it was uh yeah, it was it was really cool that I was able to get that, but. Like this thing, you know, I enjoyed, I enjoyed how it flew, but honestly, I felt very confined. Like I, I, I was, I would get nervous at some places because I just, I felt like I didn't have enough body to my ship to be able to, you know, you know, take some of the stuff. But look, when I was flying the DBX, you know, I was very early on into the game and I didn't have the understanding of engineering and, and ship builds and all that stuff that I do now. A lot of people, you know, they use Coriolis. Well, I prefer to build everything with my brain because it helps me to remember what I did. Like, if I just let Coriolis do it, then, yeah, I can save it and go back onto it, but the shit's confusing. Like, because it's not... Like, I have a... I have, you know... A, you know, like a filing system in my brain that works perfect for, perfectly for me. And and I can build ships without even looking at, like, somebody's stream. Like, people have been streaming before, and they're like, are you watching? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm flying through space. Oh, that's my dumb mining ship because it's, you know, <clears throat> its name is I'm a dumb mining ship. Because I fucking hate mining. But I built it because my son wanted me to work with him on mining. So, that is, a, that is its name. And its ship ID is Durr. Like, literally, D-E-R-R-R. -R -R. I don't know if it will show up. Nope, I would have to select it because I'm not seeing. Unless it's, like, hidden under my chat relay. Or er, chat, chat relay. Chat overlay. Relay. Anyway, stupid mining. That's such a pathetic jump range. I'm a little tiny anaconda. Hell, this thing jumps better than my uh, PVE conda, though. That's for damn sure. What the hell? Why is that life support E grade? What the fuck? Oh hell no. Okay, that I have to change. That I have to change right now. I cannot. I cannot do that. Even though I'm not using the ship, I cannot see an E grade module on one of my ships. The Sidewinders—they're not a big deal because I'm not going to be using them anyway. What the fuck what is going on? Uh, what the hell is this stupid ass thing doing? What the fuck? You're retarded, stupid game. Okay. <laughs> Don't go stupid again, idiotic thing. Uh, this thing really lost its fucking mind.
Is that eight two? Yeah, eight two. Uh, good. And good. And oh fuck no! What the fuck? Hell no! How did I miss that? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What do I have? Um, what the fuck? <clears throat> Why am I? Oh, that's why. That's why it's so stupid. It's because I bought this at a different station. I bought this at, um, at a station near Lumbava. I don't remember which system it was, but it was part of Lee Young, so I got it at a discount. I got it at Paid 121 mil for this anaconda, as opposed to 128 what I usually pay here. So I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm not gonna turn that down." Seven million cheaper? I don't care. <laughs> uh, isn't cheap. Except for FSDs, I will not cheap on that. Wow. This ship really is quite sad. I'm looking at it. Like, everything that's on this ship is just, like, crying. It's like, why? Why? I'm like, I don't know. Next. <laughs> um, it's my cargo anaconda that I have stored some modules on because I haven't really been using it as a cargo ship because I have my type 9 so it does have some cargo racks on it but apparently I have fitted it to be a slight support role ship evidently since I have the fuel transfer limpet on there. And I forgot <laughs> because it was uh because it was a cargo ship, all my cargo ships get the stupid docking computer. Even though I call it auto crash because it fucking crashes me constantly. Um yeah, I, all the cargos get them. And uh it never fails me on crashing me. It never lets me down. I'm like, "Yay, thank you auto crash. Appreciate it." Um, that's why, like I said earlier, uh, that I have a YouTube channel, Com Witch Man AM, no underscores, just spaces. Anyway, uh, you're going to find a video that says, uh, uh, advanced docking computer fails. And it's a compilation video that I made of the auto crash just smashing me into things because it hates me. But... Anyway, now, on a day that I'll be doing, like, true exploration, I will show you, like, the full force of how I go with exploring things and all that, and, yeah, it can get really, really boring, um, but all I keep thinking is, hey, that's credits for me. That's credits for me. That's credits for me. Or, or if it's a nice system, I'm like, ooh, that's really cool. Let me go check that out. Ooh, and that's really cool. Let me go check that out. Or, hey, that's a big-ass fucking body. Let me map that bitch. Or, holy fuck, look at that ring. Or, oh, those are binary earth likes. Or, those are, look, those are ringed binary water worlds. The, all the shit that I'm listing is things that I've found, and I've found so many more things. It's ridiculous. Um, and I'm not going to stop. Like, I love this game so much. And I will talk it up all day long until I'm blue in the face. Until I get people on the same damn page as me. To where they're just as passionate about the game. Because, yeah, they, you know, FDev has let us down. You know, I'm not going to say that they haven't. Because they have. 
you know. Um, a lot of people, they're really looking forward to the carriers, you know. It wasn't a huge deal to me, you know. Um, yeah, it would be cool to have one, but everybody's, like, so just dead set on, oh, they are going to come out, they are going to come out. I was like, watch, watch them push it back, watch them. I, I was telling that everybody, everybody was fighting me. They're like, nah, bro, nah, 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 they're not, they're not going to push it back. <laughs> as soon as that announcement dropped, I was like, see, I told y'all. And, yeah, they are all like, yeah, yeah, you were right. I was like, yeah, I told you. Like, you can't. I said, for me, unless I can actually see it in the game for myself firsthand right now, it doesn't exist. It's not in the game. Okay, I don't care how much talking and how much confirming. There's quotations on that word, confirming. Um, confirming that they do, it doesn't matter how much they do. Until it's actually in the game, don't talk to me. Because I want to see action, and not just you blah blah blah, and then blowing smoke at my ass. And then being like, oh, we're so sorry, but you don't get to get that, you know, this December. Because, you know, we only hyped you up for it. So that's why I didn't ever get my hopes up for it, everybody else was. But I just had a feeling, I just had that, that gut feeling, something's gonna fuck up. So I never got excited for it. So, but, you know, um, that aside and the bugs, you know, that we sometimes, you know, uh, have to <laughs> have to deal with, you know, that's a little bit frustrating. But, you know, aside from the slightly annoying things that everybody focuses on, because that's all people do is focus on the negative, you know, those little tiny negative things are fucking, like, you know, outweighed by a ton with the good that there is about the game. Like, little things is like a little pebble, and the good shit is like the fucking mountain at Dav's Hope, which is enormous. So, you know, I will, I will praise this game for everything that it does good. I will... I will call it out on the shit that it falls short with, but um, but that's never gonna change, you know, how I feel about the game. Like I'm always gonna enjoy this game. I'm still not tired of it, and with even with the the amount of time that I have played, there's no chance that I'm gonna be, you know, choosing choosing to not play it. Like it, it would take something significant. Like, like, <laughs> like, say I lost everything, like literally everything, like my whole account was somehow done or whatever. Then, then I might consider playing other games. You know, I would probably take a long, slow time to get back into Elite if I had to build up from the bottom. You know, but. I think probably eventually I would get there. But you know, as as far as you know that. I don't have anything to worry about with the game. You know, it's been out since 84, as you guys know. And it's still going strong. I don't care that it's not a fucking stupid AAA title. It's not fucking Shark Night. I mean, Fart Night. And I was, uh... Some, some... I was watching a stream earlier, and some person was, like... Talking about, oh, I was playing Fart Night the other day, blah, blah, blah. They weren't saying Fart Night, but I will not say it the other way. Um, I will always call it fart night because it's, it's shit, literal shit. Anyway, um, and I was like, yeah, fart night is trash. I'm like, the community's toxic. It's a bunch of tryhards crying when they don't get their instant gratification because they, you know, got their stupid dance move off last or something. I was like, I was just going off. And, uh, <laughs> I said some other shit. I was like, oh, I'm not even going to go into it, but the... It was bad enough that that um, that the person deleted my comments, like a couple of them. So uh, I had to laugh about that. I was like, "All right, whatever." And then a moderator came in, you know, like whispered to me, he was like, uh, "Don't don't post anything else." And I whispered back to her, was like, "I'm gonna speak my mind when I feel like speaking it." And since you're on your little moderator power trip, and I put quotations on power trip. I said, I'll make your quotations job easier. I fucking sent it, and then I left out the fucking uh, stream. Because it's like, fuck y'all. 
You know, you're not gonna let me speak my mind and shit. Then I don't have time for you. Like, this is this is my stream. And I can I can talk about the shit that I want, and if I'm gonna out some people, I'm gonna out some people. But don't sit there and try to be like, oh, it's you know, you can't you can't speak like this. I can speak however I want. Like I'm not. I wasn't using profanity. Like literally, was not using any profanity. But the words that I was using was offending other people. Fucking why? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not here to, you know, be sensitive to people. I'm here to fucking game. I'm here to ex share my experience, and. That's all there is. You know, if people want to come with me on my little voyages and shit, cool. If not, that's cool too. So, I just... You know, each each streamer, each gamer, you know, you know they're all going to have their preferences and things like that. And when it comes to, you know, shit with Elite Dangerous, we all have our preferences. You know, what ships we use... What, you know, flight style, you know, we use, um, who we align with, you know, who we, you know, work for and things like that. Um, what we do in the game, whether we, you know, do cargo or exploration, mining, um, piracy, bounty hunting, you know, anything, you know, you know, each, that's what I love about this game is like each category you're going to find like-minded people whereas these these stupid mass-produced bullshit fucking games if that's what you want to even call them um there's no there's no connectivity you you can't have like camaraderie with the, with people that are fucking doing the same fucking you know idiotic dance moves throughout the fucking level uh, you're not gonna have that um you're gonna have that through those bullshit ass games, but you don't have to. You know you don't have to worry about that with uh, Elite. Sorry, I'm getting texted by people, and I did lost lose my train of thought, and I apologize. Um, fucking people, stop texting me. <laughs> That's so frustrating. I'm streaming right now. That's what I should. should blah, blah, blah. That's what I should just text back. And be like, I am streaming right now. Please do not bother me. Thank you. Have a nice day. Um, anyway, I forget where I was going with that. But um, as far as exploration, things like that, like I consider myself very well versed in exploration. And, you know, it's, it's definitely something that takes a unique person. You know, there's a lot of people that play this game that don't bother with exploration at all because they can't see themselves doing doing that much scanning and jumping and all that stuff in rapid succession or in just succession back to back to back to back the same thing, either hours or days or months, you know, hours, days, weeks, months, you know, however long you're going to fucking do it for. You know, there's some people that are just not built for that. You know, others, you know, other ones, you know, there, there's some really hardcore, dedicated explorers. Hell, there's some that are more dedicated than I am, but mostly what I'm dedicated to is, honestly, assisting other people. Like, I've helped more people than, than I, I don't, I don't even know. Like, there's so many people that I've helped, <clears throat> you know, get credits or have a better understanding of the game you know i mean just like all different types of aspects about the game you know I've, that's what i like to do so <clears throat> there's some things that were never a massive priority like the you know federal and imperial ranks you know those are never major priority and only recently did i finish out my imperial rank and bought my cutter and all that stuff um, I'm, I'm, you know, less than a full rank away from Rear Admiral, so I could buy my Corvette soon, but I, I don't, 
it's not a priority. Like the the stuff the reason why I have the cutter first is because I've done more work for an imperial faction than I have a federal faction. So obviously, you know, all the reputation that I've taken is gonna go straight to that imperial rank and be able to, you know, do that mission for it. Um <clears throat> but I don't know, I just I just wish uh you know other people would just get more passionate stop texting me people. Sorry, would would get more passionate about, you know, playing the game and all that stuff. It's just hard to find people and then like I'm not real big about pushing, you know, the recruiting into my squadron because you know, it's just like any more nowadays I I've found that I'm like the only one that I can truly rely on to be on consistently because nobody else is like none of my other friends are on on elite as often and for as long as I am. So unfortunately I can only somewhat depend on everybody below me, you know, because I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm invested into this game. Whereas other people are you know, invested into other things. So, I am trying to get a, uh, a, um, an in-game player faction for my squadron. So, I've got that in the works. So, I'm, uh, I'm trying to progress this further, trying to, trying to get people more involved, you know, like the people that I know and all that. I'm trying to have them, you know, see the, see the benefit of, of putting forth the time and effort into this game. So, I've been doing a little bit of work, killing. If, if you're still in here, that is. I don't know. Um, where am I at? I'm gonna mark it. 302. Alright. Well. So, we're gonna <clears throat> list off these stats here. I'll read them off. So, systems visited is 14,171. Profits from exploration is 2.2 billion. Not reading the whole number. Level 2 detailed scans is 84,405. Level 3 detailed scans is 92,876. Highest payout is 12.3 million. Efficiency bonuses received of 1,847. Total hyperspace distance of 1,120, 546 light years. Uh, total hyperspace jumps is 20,419. SRV distance 4.48 megameters. Max distance from start is 31,886 light years. And approximate time played is 46 weeks, 5 days, 19 hours, and 31 minutes. And folks, that is going to end my stream today. I hope you enjoyed watching, getting some insight, maybe learning some things about building ships. Um, you know, check me out next time. I might be doing something different or it might be full on exploring. Until then, take care of your commanders and fly safe.